Hey guys, this is Goodwin Boy here, and I'm here with my Amazon Kindle Fire. As you can see, it's a Kindle Fire. It is a genuine Kindle Fire running Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. Um, yeah, you can't quite see that, so let me turn off the light. So, as you can see, it's a Jelly Bean lock screen and runs Jelly Bean perfectly fine except for the Google search that's only in this um, ROM other ROMs work so I chose this ROM because it looks like the Nexus 7 I like the Nexus 7 so we'll have this ROM I'll just do the video with this ROM it's the same for any ROM I mean Jelly Bean ROM so first of all, you're going to want to go into um, XDA Developers, just go into Google, search XDA Developers, and from there, go into their form section, search up Amazon Kindle Fire, then go into their Android Development section, and find the ROM, the ROM of your choice. So I chose the hash code one I don't know if you can see that very well but it says JB which is Jelly Bean K Fire Kindle Fire by hash code and you also have to download the G apps which are the Google apps for Jelly Bean so you have to be rooted for this and let's keep going first after you have the files on your Kindle Fire either even if you transfer them from your computer or from just download from the Kindle, you're gonna have to turn your Kindle Fire off. So wait for it to turn off. Um, this might take a little for mine because I had a lot of apps running and just a bunch of media just running and it's closing it all down and then powering off. So there we go, it's powered off. You're gonna want to turn it on. As you can see it's turning on. And Press the power button for boot menu and then just click recovery and it'll say booting and wait for it to boot. So now the team win will come up in the twerp recovery project. I mean twerp recovery oh, open up so it's team one recovery project um make sure you have battery before you do this um I'm doing this just to show you guys but you're not supposed to do this without battery so if you already have a jelly bean ROM you're gonna want to back up let me just back up real quick it takes a bit though let's just wait for it to back up um I would stop the video, but I don't have my, soft, my laptop with the software with me. I'm recording on my iPod, and I don't like to use like stuff like iMovie for it. So, it'll back up. As you can see, there's like a blue bar inside of that. It's taken a lot longer than other backups. I don't know why. It'll start going fast though. So, while we wait for that, let me just tell you that some people don't like to do this because they're afraid that they won't be able to go back to their. Um, Kindle um, format like basic Amazon Kindle format that is not the case with this you can go back by simply going to amazon.com finding the, kin the latest Kindle update and just updating it it's easy fast and just keep it in your Kindle for safekeeping um, and download it in your computer so you can pass it if anything happens to your Kindle and your Kindle will be fine as long as you just go back to that so it's actually pretty fat 
pretty easy to go back. So it's almost done. It's like halfway. So I already have the Kindle file if I ever want to go back. And once you get the Kindle file, it'll unroot it and everything, so my warranty won't be voided because it'll be unrooted and it'll leave no trace that it was ever rooted. So that's nice. Um, I don't know why this always happens when I'm doing videos. It takes longer than normally. As you can see, it's still like almost at half. This is half. This is norm. This is where it is. Okay. Almost done, and it is done. So you're going to want to go home. If you don't didn't need to back up, you're, you'll just go into wipe, cache, I mean wipe your cache, and just slide to wipe, and then it's, a, it's pretty quick. Done. Wipe your Dalvik cache. Swipe to wipe. Back. And you're going to want to factory reset. Um, This will delete everything. So if you already have a, a, and a, for a jelly bean ROM, you don't have to factory reset. But I'm just going to do this for the video. So you click factory reset and swipe to wipe. It, it's wiping all of my memory. And so all my memory is gone right now. And you're going to want to click install. And then go to downloads and find your two downloads, which are these. And press 1. The first one is the 4.1.1 the Jelly Bean ROM. So as you can see, it says JB Kindle Fire hash code. And swipe to confirm flash. It'll start flashing it. This one takes longer than the Google Apps. So just wait for it to flash. Doesn't matter if it says no MD5 file found. It'll ignore and work normally. That's normal. So it says install, install and update. Um, this is taking a bit. Okay, there we go. It's almost done. Okay, it's done. You're going to want to click back. And... That, uh, click your G apps as you can see G apps for Jelly Bean and swipe to confirm flash it'll sw it will flash them into your Kindle Fire and this one's a lot faster so it'll finish faster <clears throat> sorry for that And this one will also say no MD5 file found, so it doesn't matter. Now, if you didn't have, if you didn't back up, you won't need to do this step. If you did, you'll have to click restore and restore to the file. If you didn't, just click reboot and reboot your system. But I did back up, so I'm going to restore. And that was the last one is always the latest one. This one, because today is 8-8. Eight, eight. So you click on it and swipe to restore. It'll restore all of your apps and settings, <clears throat> your everything, just your home pages and everything. I don't remember if this takes a lot. Just know that if you didn't back up, you can just go straight to reboot system and it'll have a new um, boot up screen 
and you'll set up Android like not like if it was like a normal Android tablet or a phone and then you're good to go to use it how you want if you're back up you'll still have all your files from your other ROM plus you'll have this new ROM <clears throat> so I think this is gonna take a while let me just let it just finish okay it is taking a lot I do not know why as you can see it's still in the beginning oh it's data data always takes long it's still restoring data <clears throat> um, they're working on getting microphones to work so you can actually use the Google search and Google Now function, like um, headset microphones. For now, only some work, and they only work for like s specific apps. They don't work for like voice dictation or Google search, Google Now. Doesn't work for any of those. Okay, so finally, got faster. It's like halfway now, almost done, and still waiting. <laughs> okay, it's done. So. You're gonna click reboot system okay and it'll reboot like Kindle Fire how we started and after this is the new um, boot up screen I don't know why it hasn't come up. This is weird. It's just black. Oh, there we go. Came up. It's like in landscape. And there we go. I have barely any battery, but we I'm back to my old um home screen and everything. If they don't show up, it's just that they're taking a little bit to load. Like, I had a YouTube here, books here, but see, now they're loading, and they're there, and so is this one. So, that's how to get it. If you have any questions, please comment. Please rate my videos. Check out some of my other videos on iOS or Kindle Fire. I believe I have an unboxing. I'm not sure. So just check them out. Please subscribe. So see you guys.